So what you're looking at is a 1988 Aquasport 222. It's a really sought after boat. It's actually, uh, it's in decent shape. It needs uh, a lot of loving. But um, let me show you guys uh, what it looks like. We already removed the leaning post on it because we're going to powder coat that white. Uh, we do have the um, cushion that goes right here so you can lean on. It's right there. Came with a dual axle aluminum trailer. It's in pretty decent condition. Has a jack plate, trim tab, hydraulic steering. Like I said, this is a Mercury 202 stroke, really good motors. This one is carbureted. No electronics. Um, I think there's a few LED lights up there. I have no clue if this motor runs. All I know is that I went to the guy's house and I bought it as is. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole boat and we're gonna attempt to start the motor. So let's go to the front. Like I said, it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, no bottom paint added on here. And yeah, just this boat just needs a lot of cleaning and loving and she'll be on the water here soon. So we just finished pressure washing the boat and now it's time to see if this motor's any good. This is my first time taking the hood off, technically. Um, all the spark plugs are removed. There's no rust or anything on the plugs, which is a good sign that this could be a good running engine. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Is the water on? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. So we just started the motor and we noticed two things. There's fuel coming out of the carburetors, which tells us that the floater is sticking and the impeller is not um, pumping water. So common things that happen if you let a boat sit. So I'm gonna have to take the carbs off. I'm gonna clean them while I'm in there and I'm gonna put a new impeller in the engine. So I just removed the impeller housing and here is the old one and here is the brand new one. Uh, this one is going to pump a lot of water. Uh, this one is just old and it's been here for a while and it was pretty much due for a new impeller so she's getting a new one. And um, we are already stained the wood in here. That piece of wood up there is stained and we also have all the other wood pieces ready to go, except the ladder. So we came to a decision that uh, we really like this color and we are going to use this color that we are painting the inside of the boat with. Um, we are going to paint the outside, the whole outside with the same color. Right now I'm taking the stickers off. Um, originally we were going to polish the gel coat and make it all nice, but I think um, it's gonna look really good with that blue on the outside. Um, so we're pretty excited and we're wondering how it's gonna come out and it's gonna make the boat really pop out. I'm almost done with one side. Um, this is the second coat. Uh, it's coming out looking really good. We're getting the inside uh, another coat. And I haven't... I'm prepping the other side to paint on this side. This is what it used to look like. And it's a big difference. It looks really good. It's 
coming out um, better than we expected. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the top side of this uh, and I already have it taped off. We're getting it prepped for paint. And I also have to do that side. We're going to do, the, do it the same color as the floor and run it all the way to the back over here. How the mice coming along? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to glue them in with my super glue. You scared? I guess stick my whole head in there to look at him. Oh, they seem pissed. I definitely got him this time. Oh, there's one. Oh, shit. So you're almost done, man. How you feeling? I'm trying to make these lights stick because the tape on the back doesn't really work. I'm using the good old super glue to make them stick. Wow, what a genius. Always finds a way to make it work. All day, every day. That's that boat guy for you. <laughs> <coughs> so just finished installing the lights. Wraps around the whole boat. The battery's a little dead, so they're not too bright, but uh, my buddy, he's going to shut the lights off to give you a little idea of what it's going to look like completely at night. Look at that, there we go. It's looking great. Huge difference. So I'm getting prepared to remove the motor and the jack plate. I already removed the swim ladder the trim tabs are pretty much off. All this is gonna come off and it's just gonna hang with the tractor. Just have two more bolts and she's gonna be right off. We're doing it because we need to paint the back in order to match the side. So I just finished pulling the motor off. Uh, I had to cover the tractor because um, I'm pretty much done for the day and it looks like it's gonna be raining and I have to cover um, the whole engine still. But this gives us enough room to paint the back, uh, to prep it, to sand it down. And um, <clears throat> we don't have too much work to do, um, just paint. Um, I already completely finished the motor, it's running great. Uh, it's all cleaned up, she looks almost brand new on the inside. But there's a few things we have to do and um, a few things we're waiting um, to be shipped to my house, such as um, we have an Aqua Sport sticker that's gonna go right there and a few other things, but it's looking great so far. So the gel coat is finally dried up. I took the tape off, um, it looks great. Now I could go ahead and I could sand it down and I could polish it out to get that uh, mirror shine out of it, but I like the, the flat look on it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, the paint, uh, the back of the boat is painted on the transom. All I have to do now is start putting the trim tabs on. I'm gonna put the motor back on and I'm gonna start putting everything back on. So I just finished putting the motor on. I need to put the trim tabs on, the ladder and whatnot. Um, I need to solve this issue. I do have a flat tire. Um, I'm wondering if one of my plugs, um, I only have one plug in here because I did have a flat when I first got it. I wonder if it's leaking because this tire is flat. So I'm gonna take it to one of my buddies who repaired it and he's gonna check it out. So I just got my tire fixed. The plug was leaking and she's as good as new. Now I'm just going to start putting everything back on that needs to be uh, on the back of the transom. So just got back from the store, bought a couple things, had to buy a new winch because this one is toasted, it's rusted, uh, there's holes I'm sure that's going to break, a uh, new winch strap, uh, just uh, not a lot of stuff. Um, got some new scuppers going to put in here, um, right there, going to put her in, looks like we have a little bit of ants in here. But um, yeah, it's going well, it did rain, it's a little wet. Um, Everything's going pretty well, um, just like it should be. So I just installed a brand new winch, and so far, I'm just gonna put the strap on right now. All right, so check this out. I already stained the ladder. She's looking really good. Uh, the paint looks great on the transom. Um, everything's pretty much installed on the back. 
Um, only thing I have to do right now is I have to repaint this up here because it, it did get messed up by the rain. Um, put another coat on the floor, clean everything up, um, just do a few things and she'll be uh, pretty much ready to go on the water. All right, so I just want to show you guys quickly um, what I did so far. I did repainted the tops already, put in the rod holders, they're in all the hardware, and I also repainted the front, uh, uh, the hatch covers, they're already installed and whatnot. And right now I am taking the leaning post apart because I'm going to be repainting it. And the rod holders are completely out so I'm prepping that right now so I just want to show you guys what I'm working on I'm working on the leaning post I put the first coat of paint I'm gonna put about three to four coats depending how it looks but she's uh, gonna match the inside of the floor and the outside of the boat so she look pretty sweet check this out just finished it um, <clears throat> gonna put the rod holders back in here and the cushion is gonna go right in the front. Just wanna show you guys what she looked like. I got four coats on here and it looks actually really good. Here we go, here's the leaning post. It's completely done. Wanna show you guys how it came out. It's looking great. Clean the cushion. Uh, rod, holder, rod holders are in. And she came out looking really good. So I just want to show you guys a little overview. Um, the boat is very close to being done. There's just a few small things I have to do, but I mean, she's looking really good. Let's go to the front. Looking great up there. Um, I do have to detail, detail it a little bit and she's gonna be ready to put in the water. Uh, my goal is to put it in the water tomorrow and hopefully everything goes as planned. I'm gonna go ahead and install this fish tape sticker. I'm gonna put it right here where the old one was. As you can see there's some residue, but the new one will cover everything, so it's gonna look pretty good. All right, look at that. Just installed it. Makes a huge difference. Six bucks. Can't beat it. So I was on the internet looking at things for sale, and I did come across this Mercury four horsepower long shaft. The guy wants 300 bucks. It looks like it's in good condition. He said it's been sitting. Um, so my goal is to go purchase this for the 300 maybe even lower and use it as a kicker on the aqua sport So I'm gonna go check it out right now So I bought new decals for both sides taking it off uh, I had to go really slow because if I don't um, The sticker might come off. I did have that happen right here, but you can't really tell But I mean this this bow is looking sweet. I did put a helm pad all the way up in the front. So if someone's sitting up in uh, up right here, they could put their feet right here so it's not bouncing too much. It gives a little bit of cushion. Um, but I mean, this boat looks fantastic. So I'm just gonna take the sticker off and I'll show you guys, well, the, the protector layer. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. So just finished it. Looks great. Um, like I said, on the other side, I have to take the top piece off, but she's on there, looks great. I also have the uh, Mercury 4 horsepower installed. It's really easy, um, it's just gonna be a little backup kicker engine just in case uh, the 200 gives out. But um, yeah, everything's looking great. So the boat is officially done. I have my tractor hooked up because I'm gonna put it in the lake today. Um, came out looking really good. Now this project took uh, quite a bit of time because I had a few issues going on, um, so that's why it took like pretty much forever to get it done. But as you could see, it's and came out really good, better than I thought it would actually. But yeah, it's uh, it's all here, looking great. I'm going the other side. Motors are all cleaned up. Just a great, uh, great boat. So yeah, so I'm gonna get my truck and I'll see you guys on the water. So here is my 222 center console aqua sport. Um, it's going to give you guys a little overview. We have a new gel coat on the outside. Um, did a bunch of stuff on this uh, boat. Um, we have a new aqua sport decal right there. Got the motors in the back. And um, this boat is a 1988 and it has a um, dual axle aluminum trailer. 
and it's actually in pretty good condition you see all these brackets are completely um, rotted out but um, not on this one so uh, let me uh, get in the boat and I'll show you guys the inside of it all right so now I'm in the boat just gonna give you just a quick overview um, <clears throat> here's a leaning post there's plenty of fishing rod holders even on the t-top they're everywhere um, there's a couple up there also um, we have some on the leaning post and some right here um, <clears throat> let's go to the front of the boat I uh, repainted the floors all the hatch covers um, everything's pretty much all cleaned up we have a live oil under here I put a sea deck pad right here um, new batteries uh, restained all the wood that was in here I uh, went through the whole motor I purchased a uh, four horsepower mercury as a kicker as a new water separator new fuel lines and um, just a bunch of small stuff that I did to it um, she looks great compared to what she did before there's also a radio up there um, and there's some uh, LED strips up there and also I don't know if it's uh, well actually you can kind of see it but um, there is a LED strip running completely through the boat so hopefully it gets dark here um, I'm at Lake Seminole and I'm gonna put in the water all right she started right up got my truck over there gonna back her up check that out guys she is finally in the water she's looking great such a great boat so nice to have this boat in the water because I mean I've been working on it for such a long time motor's running great great day to do a little sea trail here oh. all right well, what do you think first impression dude it's nice yeah I didn't, this... know, I didn't know you have lighting like that I mean, yeah I know isn't it nice to have some lights yeah, up here too it's really nice all right I haven't seen it. I've seen this one when you were working on it, but that's it. Man, it's actually nice out. Beautiful out.
work, gauge is work. So I just got the boat out of the water. She ran great, no issues. Couldn't be more than happy about uh, how this boat turned out and how it performed. Uh, just a great overall boat. These are great boats if you could find one. Um, I do have more boats that I'm redoing um, so for future videos, so please stay tuned. And if you guys can, please like, comment, and subscribe because it will help me out. Hope you guys enjoy this build and thanks for watching again.